A few months ago, I did a video on the oldest companies in the world. And while we took a brief look continent by continent, and while a lot of the top 10 was in Europe, we didn't really focus on a lot of interesting cases. So now I want to do this continent by continent, going a little more in depth on each of them, explaining what each country's oldest company is, and a little bit of their history when possible. In this video, with Europe. As we can see with this map I found on Reddit, and I think the credit to the map makers is at the bottom right, Europe has a lot of old companies. A quick reminder, this refers to the oldest companies still in operation continuously since their foundation. There might be older ones who have since gone out of business. Starting with a general overview before we go into each country, the map is divided into six colors with gray representing no data available in Wales, Monaco, Moldova, San Marino, and the Vatican. The other colors refer to the time period in which these companies were founded. In the darkest blue are companies founded between 750 and 999, England, France, or Germany are examples. The map had an extra category for even older companies, but Europe doesn't have any during that time period, so I'm leaving it out. Then in the lighter blue, between 1000 and 1249, Spain is an example. In green, between 1250 and 1499, like Czechia. In red, between 1500 and 1749, Portugal is one of those, and in yellow, the most recent companies, but dating between 1750 and 1999. I think they really should have added an extra category for at least 1950 onwards, but let's go with these ones. Quickly taking a moment to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Wondershare's Filmora 10, a super simple editing software for anyone who wants to create videos. Whether they are simple ones or super complicated projects, Filmora allows you to make them work and not give you too much trouble editing or spending hours to learn how it works because they have a ton of pre-made templates, filters, animated stickers, among other assets that you can use for your project. And they just released even more new features like auto highlight or audio normalization. The auto highlight feature for instance, automatically cuts your footage into smaller clips that can serve as highlights. So if you want to make videos but don't know where to start, Filmora might be a good option for you, as their point is precisely that anyone can start using it even without any prior video editing skills. And you can try it out through the link in the description below. Keep in mind, this is a paid software. Through the link, you do have access to a free trial, but any projects will be watermarked. Now let's get back to the video. This way, interpreting the colors, we can immediately see what the countries with the oldest companies are. The St. Peter Stifts Culinarium in Austria is from 803, so that one would be the oldest, with the most recent being the Meridian Corporation in Kosovo from 1999. In fact, we can see clearly that most of the Balkans have reasonably recent oldest companies, like they do to their reasonably recent independence. So now let's move on to a country by country view. Europe has 44 countries, so I can't get into precise detail in all of them, but I'm going to do my best to provide a good summary of each, starting with the oldest category in the dark blue, although not going in chronological order within them. And you might remember these initial ones from the worldwide video, because like I said, they are also amongst the oldest in the world, but there are times stamps in the description if you want to just skip to the ones you haven't seen yet. Germany's oldest company is the Staffelter of Winery from 862, a family-run winery, distillery, and guest house in the small town of Krov in Rhineland-Palatinate. It was originally a wine-producing abbey. In 1804, with the establishment of the Napoleonic Code, it was sold for 1773 silver coins to Peter Schneiders, going through seven generations until the current owners. Austria's is the St. Peter's Stifts Culinarium, a restaurant within the walls of St. Peter's Abbey in Salzburg. It is speculated to have been operating since 803, which would make it the oldest inn in Central Europe. Its projected age is based on the writings of an English scholar, Alcuin of York. In one of his works from 803, the monastery cellar and its beer are praised in a poem. Based on these and other claims, the Stifts Culinarium is perhaps one of the oldest existing restaurants in the world, and likely the oldest in Europe. Christopher Columbus, Mozart, and others 
are said to have been served at the restaurants. Francis Monet de Paris is responsible for producing Francis coins. Founded in 864 with the Edict of Pistre, it is the world's oldest continuously running minting institution. It was created during the reign of Charles the Bold, King of West Francia, who wanted to take control of the mints and regulate the punishment for counterfeiting. England's oldest company is similar, the Royal Mint from 886. From Celtic currency to Roman coins, control of Britain's mints alternated as different tribes and rulers battled over the island's territory. In 886, however, Alfred the Great recaptured London and began issuing silver pennies bearing his portrait. The institution that did this would eventually evolve into the Royal Mint, continuously operating until today for over a thousand years. Ireland has Sean's Bar since 900. Although it's a little disputed when it comes to its age, they claim it exists since 900 because when they were renovating it in the 1970s, they found wattle and wicker within the walls, construction materials used back then, as well as antique coins. But some archaeological surveys state it dates only to the 17th century. Moving on to the lighter blue, the oldest company in Italy is the Pontificia Fonderia Marinelli, from either 1040 or 1339 at most. One of the oldest family businesses in the world, they produce mainly bells, but also many artifacts in bronze. Founded in the Kingdom of Naples, the foundry was awarded the pontifical title, in 1924 as it became the official supplier of bells for the Vatican City churches. Today, the Catholic Church represents 90% of its business. They produce around 50 bells a year, employing just 12 people, being owned by two brothers, Armando and Pasquale Marinelli. Munkemol is the oldest functioning company in Denmark, founded in 1135 as a watermill on the Odense River, a direct supplier of 38 kings and 12 queens. Today, it produces bread and cake mixes for the general population. Poland has the Bokia Salt Mine, established in the 12th century, becoming a part of the Royal Mining Company at the time. It doesn't produce salt anymore, but is now a tourist attraction and still functions as a company because of that. It has, for instance, this underground church since the 18th century. Switzerland also has an inn as its oldest company, Gastov Sternen. It used to be a monastery founded in 1227 who had a guest house for visiting family of the monks. Eventually, it evolved into its own inn and you can actually go and stay there today as a hotel. Spain's dates back to 1218 in the Middle Ages in the Kingdom of Aragon. Casa de Ganaderos. From its foundation, it had the point of controlling two of the issues that most affected farmers in Zaragoza, land jurisdiction, and pastures. Essentially, it gathered all the people with land and served as a way to also defend their rights. Eventually, the legal dimension of it was removed by King Fernando VII, but it maintained as a way of gathering local farmers. Today, over 800 years after its foundation, it produces and sells lamb meat. Belgium has another brewery as its oldest company, the Affligem Brewery. The Affligem Abbey was founded by six knights, former brothers in arms, who turned into monks in the village of Affligem in 1074. The monks lived by the rules of Saint Benedict, which stressed the importance of community. Water at the time wasn't the best, so they started to brew beer for their guests. Today, it's owned by Heineken, but still functions on its own. Then we have those in the green. There are a lot of countries with breweries as their oldest companies, and check Czechia is another, with the Pivovar Bromov from 1348, one of the very first breweries of the region and even Europe. Today, it produces a light beer for domestic consumption and a dark beer to be exported to Germany. Slovakia, however, has a mint, the Kremnica Mint, since 1328, established when the city of Kremnica was promoted to a free royal town by the Hungarian king. Their most famous coin was the ducat, of good quality and seen as the strongest European currency at the time. Throughout history, they minted 21.5 million golden ducats equivalent to around 3 billion US dollars today. These days, it produces coins for Slovakia and also exports them to other countries. Ukraine is the only one alongside with Poland that has a mine, the Draobik salt plant of 1250. During this time, Draobik was one of the richest cities in the Carpathian region, with salt being the most famous good of the region. Rich Italian merchants rented salterns, which were salt water pools, to produce salt and then transport and sell it in Italy and the rest of Europe. In Slovenia, Gostilna Gastus, since 1467, is the oldest restaurant in the country and one of the oldest in Europe and the world. I sadly couldn't find out anything about its history anywhere. Estonia is a rare case of a pharmacy. Raep from 1422. I'm gonna mispronounce like half of these company names, by the way. One of the oldest continuously running pharmacies in Europe, having always been in business in the same house 
since the early 15th century. The Bouchard family are those most closely associated with the pharmacy's history, having run the business for over 10 generations, spanning over 325 years from around 1582 to 1911. Although it was property of the local city council at first only being purchased by them in 1688 by $600 sold by King Charles the 11th of Sweden. When the last male heir of the Bouchard family, Johan X, died, his family sold the property in 1911, ending the family-run business, but which continues to run with other owners. Sweden has an industry, Skilsbergs Bruk. Skilsberg Bruk is an industrial enterprise based in Skilberg, tracing its origins to 1346, it is one of the oldest companies in Sweden, initially an iron workshop created by order of King Magnus IV. It passed on from family to family until the Svensson family in 1888, which still runs it today. Iron and steel processing remains the main focus of the company. Netherlands has another brewery, the Brand Brewery, since 1340. When it was created, it had the advantage of having access to its own water source. There wasn't much information available about this. All I could find is that they initially had an exclusive right to the production of beer in the area. In red, Portugal, whose oldest company is their national mail service, founded in 1520. CTT comes from the company's former name, Correios Telegrafos e Telefones, which means post, telegraph, and telephone. But initially, it was called Correio Público, public post office, created by King Manuel I in 1520. In 2014, it was privatized and no longer under the control of the state. Scotland has their national bank since 1695. Established only one year after the Bank of England, it's the only commercial institution created by the Parliament of Scotland to remain in existence today. It was also one of the first banks in Europe to print their own banknotes, which it continues to do today. While the Bank of England, for instance, was established specifically to finance the fence spending by the English government, the Bank of Scotland was established by the Scottish government to support local business and was prohibited from lending to the government without parliamentary approval. In Luxembourg, the Mosul Brewery of 1511. The old Mosul Brewery is located in the capital Luxembourg city along the banks of the river Alzette, brewing only a single type of beer. There wasn't much information about this one either. Another postal service, Posten Nordic, since 1647. Posten was founded in 1647 as the postal system. It was established as a private company and King Christian IV gave his blessing to its founding. It was privately run until 1719 when the state took over. From that point onwards, National Postal Service was a state monopoly. Even until 2016, anything under 50 grams had to be transported by them. In Finland, Fiskars. The Fiskars Corporation was formed in 1649 when a Dutch merchant named Peter Thorstwost was given a charter by Christina, Queen of Sweden, to establish a blast furnace and forging operations in the small village of Fiskars. In the early years, they made nails, wire, hose, and metal reinforced wheels from iron. In the late 18th century, copper was discovered nearby, and so the focus of production shifted to it. Although when it ran out, they switched back to iron, and today they mostly produce metallic tools. In Croatia, the Krajelvika shipyard, founded in 1729, a shipbuilder on the Adriatic coast of Croatia, founded in 1729 by Emperor Charles V of the Holy Roman Empire and claimed to be the oldest continuously operational shipyard in the world. It is said to be the biggest origin of industrialization and development of the Croatian economy. Turkey has a really unique oldest company, Public Baths, the Sember Amami of 1584. It was commissioned by Nurbanu Sultan, one of the wives of Sultan Selim II, as a charitable work. The main intention of it was to serve the people of Istanbul, providing bath services. Latvia has the Sezu Alus Brewery of 1590, considered to be one of the oldest breweries in the Baltic and Nordic countries, initially located inside the Sezis Castle itself. It is still the largest brewery producing beer in Latvia. In the year 2018, it produced 64% of all beer in the country. Lithuania is a brewery as well, the Gubernia One of 1665. Their website didn't have anything about the company's history and neither did Wikipedia. All I could find is this date of 
of establishment and the fact they own their own pubs, having been under state control since its foundation, being privatized in 1999. In yellow, we have Iceland with another mail service, Island Postur of 1776. It dates back to this year when Christian VII, King of Denmark, and at the time also Iceland, ordered a mail service to be established in the country. Two years later, regular post sailings began between Iceland and Denmark once a year. I mean, that's almost as slow as our mail now. Malta has the HSBC Bank since 1882. HSBC Malta dates back to the beginning of operations in Malta by the Anglo-Egyptian Bank, which eventually became the colonial overseas Barclays Bank in 1925. In 1975, the government of Malta nationalized it, eventually being reprivatized, I think, and joining this British slash international banking group. Cyprus also has their national bank since 1899. Its origins are in the British colonial government of Cyprus. It was created to regulate currency and financial activities on the island. Eventually, with independence, it became their own sovereign bank. Armenia, for some reason, is included in this map of Europe. I don't really get why. Their oldest is a brandy wine vodka factory from 1877, the Yerevan Ararat factory. Founded during the rule of the Russian Empire, in the 1870s, it accounted for 80% of all production in the Russian Empire. Belarus is another brewery, Olivadia, from 1864. It began operations in Minsk in a wooden brewery. It was nationalized in 1917, but became a joint stock company in 1994. Andorra has another bank, Andbank, from 1930, the oldest firm of private bankers in Andorra, Liechtenstein as well, their national bank since 1861, Hungary, another brewery, Zvak of 1790. This one has one of the coolest stories, honestly. It was created by Dr. Josef Zvak, the royal physician to the Habsburg court for Emperor Joseph II in 1790. In 1840, his family founded the first Hungarian liquor manufacturer. By the early 1900s, the Zvak company had become one of the largest distilleries in Central Europe, producing and exporting over 200 liqueurs and spirits. And then moving on to the Balkans. Romania has, guess what, a brewery, Ursus Breweries from 1878. By the way, how hard is it to say the word brewery? Bulgaria has a weapons factory, Arsenal Ott, also from 1878. The first armory in the country being originally a state military factory. Today it's private and continues producing military equipment, but also civilian machinery. Greece has a cafe, the traditional Cafenio of Immanuel for Lidas. Dating back to 1785, it began operating as an inn and is now the oldest traditional cafe in Greece. It was founded on the town square of Lafkos and has been operating non-stop since 1785, having been passed down seven generations of the for Lidas family. Albany has a media company, Alp Telecom, founded in 1912, a telephone and communications company beginning as a state company and essentially a government office. It was privatized in 2007, being sold to two Turkish companies. Northern Macedonia has a tobacco company, Tutunski Kombinat Perilep since 1873. It mainly buys and sells tobacco from the Orient, but also produces cigarettes. In 1873, it had its first warehouse to process tobacco. Kosovo, the Meridian Corporation of 1999. Since it's very recent, there really isn't much to know about it as far as I could find. Then the Posta Krngor Postal Service, founded in 1841. Initially, Venetian couriers carried all official mail to Constantinople, passing through this region, but eventually the locals themselves began doing it and founded the service. Bosnia goes back to the brewery trend with the Sarajevska Pivara since 1864. It was the first Bosnian industry existing through the Ottoman Empire, Austro-Hungarian rule, Yugoslavia, and then independent Bosnia. And finally, Serbia. Also with their Apatin Brewery of 1756, starting as the Imperial Brewery. There are records on the production of 12,000 hectoliters of beer in the 18th century. I didn't even know how much an hectoliter was, but apparently it's a lot. The brewery was privatized for the first time at the end of the 19th century and is today owned by an American group. Out of curiosity, we can also see which sector each of these companies is a part of, with the vast majority being in the red, so secondary sector, a few in the blue, tertiary, and only four in the yellow of the primary sector. Only Estonia is in the quaternary sector with its historical 
pharmacy. So those are the oldest companies in Europe and the oldest company in each European country with a few unfortunate exceptions when there's no data available. What they are, what they do, which date they were founded in and some interesting information I could find about a few of them. As far as I know this is up to date but perhaps one of these has gone out of business since the map was made. If you have any additional information or corrections just leave a comment letting me know and also let me know if you'd be interested in seeing this for the rest of the other continents. At least Asia has some very interesting examples which despite having already been talked about in the worldwide video might be interesting to look at in more detail. Thanks so much for watching this video, subscribe if you want and I will see you next time for more general knowledge.